Hey guys, it's Warren here with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, just a real short video on uh, a maintenance of a tool. Uh, the compression tester, a tool we use all day, every day. It's very important and you need to make sure it doesn't leak. And I've got another video that shows you how to test the gauge accuracy and leaks for everything. And one place they can leak is right here. The little button you push to, to release the pressure out of it. Now it usually has a little chrome button over this, but if you snap that little chrome button off of most of these, what's in here is just a Schrader valve. It's just like a valve uh, in a car tire stem. And now it's not like the Schrader valve down here. The Schrader valves in the end down here are made specifically for compression testers and they got a very weak spring. So you can't just use a regular tire Schrader valve down here, but you can down here. Uh, because it just releases pressure and i'll leave the little button off of it uh, but mine was leaking you can press you can force air in here with a blow nozzle and spray soapy water and i had a leak right here well since that's just a schrader valve out of like a regular car tire stem i come over here to my schrader valve for tire stems and just take the old one out put a new one of these in there and boom a uh, leak is fixed uh, so when you're testing your compression tester uh, just remember if it's leaking right here, if it's got the little chrome button on the end of this and you don't know what's in there, you might be like, well, I got to get a new one. This thing leaks. If you snap that little chrome button off of here, it's just a Schrader valve under there. And you can screw it out. I've got a little Schrader valve screwdriver. I got a few of these. They're different types. Some are a little T-handle looking thing. Uh, but you can just take that Schrader valve out, screw in a new one and fix it if it's leaking right here. Anyway, thanks for watching.